Welcome to day 5 of learning cyber security every day. Today we are going to see about AI impact assessment. So yesterday like we see AI safety and AI security both are part of a process which is called AI impact assessment. So AI impact assessment is a kind of a systematic process uh, which kind of evaluates potential effects and risk associated with deployment of artificial intelligence systems within specific context. It is also and critical or we can say crucial assessment in order to understand the broader implications of AI uh, which include ethical, social, legal and economical impacts. While the goal of AI impact assessment is typically to identify potential negative outcome that AI would give before they could occur. So which would help organizations enable and implement mitigation strategies proactively. Let's say for example, uh, consider deployment of an AI driven recruitment tool, which kind of helps you design uh, and streamline hiring process by analyzing resume. And secondly, it could, you know, kind of conduct initial uh, screening for the candidates. Well, the AI impact assessment for this tool or for this uh, kind of, you know, requirement would uh, include evaluation of data bias, transparency and explainability, privacy concerns and legal and uh, compliance, uh, ethical compliance uh, things. This is this also uh, think for me to a point where it says emerging risk in AI can be subtle. It also can be complex and most importantly, it evolves over time. So when I say uh, things evolve over time, it needs continuous tracking and monitoring. And, you know, in order to do that, in order to continuously monitor and track the risk, you need to measure it both quantitatively and qualitatively, which in case of AI risk, in you know, you can go with uh, ethical audits, stress testing or user feedback loops. While these are just recommended in order to ensure your AI safety, you can, you know, explore more ways to keep your AI deployment secure. Apart from it, I attended my very first OWASP chapter event here in London. And I would say it was an absolutely insightful evening. As usual, detailed post about the event is coming uh, on LinkedIn.